All right, let's just move on through. Yes. Close that door so we can load. And okay. Break the crates. The only thing left to do in this. Oh, hello? What? All right. Um, there's an assault cannon lady behind this vent right here. Yeah. The only thing left to do in this level is to basically just pick up the final bomb. No, not the final bomb thing. Um, just an another bomb part and then uh, blow up a couple more things. Yeah, but there there's not, not a lot of things that we can do here. Hello? Aside from getting shot by a gangster. And shoot this fan again. There we go, good. Hello? There's another Uzi here in case one has not enough. And uh, a hole to the void. Hmm. I see. I see. It would have been really easy to just make another tunnel here, another tunnel um, vent area here, and then just put a slightly clip fence here. Fence, sorry. Um, vent cover. There we are. A slightly clip vent cover. But no, let's just have a, a hole to the void because sure, this facility is held up on some mountains, I guess. Sure, makes make, makes perfect sense, you know. Makes makes sincerely perfect sense. Uh, anyway, back to the sniper. Uh, hold on, I, I need to actually break the vents first. From far away. Because there's an agent there. Agent F. Hi. Oh, messed up shot. What are you waiting for? Get him. Uh, no, I'll get you first. Okay. Oh. That's nice. I could use the shockwave, but right now I need this. Dead? No, not dead. Oh, hi. No worries, though. Gotcha. No worries. Hmm. I keep I keep thinking that this little alarm here is caused by this soldier spotting me. I was wondering if I could actually kill him early and make the alarm not trigger when I come out. I'm not sure if it's actually a trigger-based one, though. Maybe it is a trigger-based one. Um, reload the sniper. Because I think there's another grunt encounter here that I can cheese a little bit by just using stealth. Yeah? There we go. One down, and another down. The sniper may seem useless, since you'll be... Oh. Ah, a detonator. Better pick it up. Sure thing, Reese. Sure thing. Uh, yeah, the sniper may, might seem useless because it's slow and... Fires only once, not a lot of ammo around. The sniper is actually really, really useful. As I'm sure you've all seen me utilizing such a weapon. I think I'm trying my best here not to revert back to the machine gun as much as possible. Though sometimes it can't be helped. It can't be helped. And there we go, out of the building and straight to the city. Straight to the cities. We'll be back though. We'll be back. But for now, let's actually get out of the city and do some things. Shit, we gotta get out of here. Hop in the back. There's a turret there. We might need it. Yeah, sure. I'll be right over. Just gotta remember back that the, this door I think used to be full bright. Um, I can see the void from here. Sorry, um, my vision kind of blurs things out. Yeah, I can see the void from here. Very nice though, very nice. So yeah, this is a part that I quite like. Auto rush. We'll just be, all we have to do now is just shoot anything that's behind us. Well, shoot at any living things that's behind us. Oh, there's a jeep there. Uh, that's an actual NPC by the way. Well, shoot it. Sure thing. Just need to shoot the sniper. There we go. Anyway, uh, that jeep that we saw a moment ago, that was an actual NPC. It acts like a ground-based Apache. But, um... It acts like a ground-based Apache. 
which is why it's broken. Bit of a shame would be nice if we could actually fight that chip for real. But, um, eh. What do I mean by Apache based enemy? It floats. It sort of glides around the floor. Really, really silly. And it can only shoot you by using the turret at its side. And if you're not at the side that's facing the turret, the Jeep can't basically do anything. It's a really broken NPC, basically. Anyway, let's actually go through this part. Gonna sit back here because there is a lot of damage that can be taken if you stood at the front. I can avoid as much damage as possible by just sitting here. Be careful back there. Sure thing. There we go. Good. I think in the original mod, the minigun isn't actually a minigun, it's more of a turret. A uh, machine gun turret than an actual minigun. Don't know why they call it minigun though. No idea. Alright, here comes this part. Bit tricky here since there's a lot of enemies involved. I think we'll do fine considering how one just stupidly decided to run straight through, through the car. Come on. There we go. Should be an airstrike that shall allow us to pass through. Because of course these people are idiots. Yeah, sure. Hit everything but the truck. Best airstrike. The best kind of airstrikes. Not even sure if it's actually directed towards us. Towards us. More enemies here. Alright. Okay, here comes the streets. There's an actual helicopter here though, so yeah, that's going to be a problem. Oh, hello there. Oh, and another jeep. Let me just open fire on this building right here. Hello. Allow me. There we go. Good. I wouldn't do that if I were you. It's generally a bad idea to be high. It's also a good idea not to be at the sides here because this is a moving vehicle. Moving vehicles in Half-Life are really, really finicky. You might end up get killed if you decided to pop, fiddle around with the sides here. Just stay in the middle and I think you'll be fine for the most part. And I think that was it. We are good for now. Say goodbye to the minigun. It was a fun ride. A fun ride indeed. Hi there. Bye. Jalopy deposit. Okay, I think there's uh, some pickup inside the truck after we drop here. No, there isn't. Okay, never mind. Um, just my memory is fiddling about again. Let's see. Maybe I should do some weapons check first before going forward. There's another Tommy gun drop that we can get. I would love to have it. Salt cannon, good. Snapper rifle, good. Dart gun, good. Yes, alright. Let's go with the sniper rifle again. There's another chaos section here, and I need to get the, gu the girl with the Tommy gun now. Good. Just do your bike there, and. Hi. Hey! Just gonna sit back. Very nice, very nice indeed. All of you just basically destroyed yourselves. How very nice. Hmm. I never saw that before. Usually these jibs would um, basically lie down normally, not like this. Hmm. You see something new every day, I suppose. Right, moving on. Um, this door. No. Never mind. Ah! This, this leads nowhere. Uh, of course, it doesn't lead to nowhere, but um, I need to check out the place a little bit. This is just basically a parking lot that has a gas... a gas station-ish place? And double doors that basically just led to a computer room. 
How interesting of a building setup. Anyway. There we go, the way is open. The way is open indeed. Welcome to the shopping mall, where we shall buy things. Buy what, you might ask? Not a lot of very good stuff. Not at all. Especially since the other shoppers are um, carrying firearms as well. Oh, actually, never mind. We're not at the shopping mall yet. We need to go through this little street area first. And yeah, looks like sunset is coming up. The day is saved. For now. I think there's a... I think I remember putting something in one of these rooms. Uh, no, not quite. Nothing. Oh, never mind then. Yeah, I remember putting something in one of these rooms. I guess not. Hmm. Could have sworn. Oh well. There's a lot of nothing here but bottles and glasses. I don't find your company to be useful either. Sorry. Um, yes. What you're supposed to do is to flip this thing and go through there, but I think I can try to just jump from here just fine. Yeah, just... You don't really need to move the crane here. It's easy to just go here. Okay, now we are at the shopping mall. Alright. Now we're at the proper shopping mall. 